Yo, how's it going guys? It's Freeze here. It's time for a new weapon review and today we're taking a closer look at the NS-11A. This gun is a Nanite Systems Assault Rifle and it can be used by the Combat Medic class of all three factions. When you check out the available certifications you can see the first strong point of this weapon. It's extremely versatile. Except for underslung weapons and the 6x scope, this gun has pretty much everything available for it. When it comes to the two ammo types, I made a video explaining the difference between soft point and high velocity. I'll link it in the description so you guys can check it out. I actually use the NS11A for it, so I guess it comes in handy. For the other attachments, it depends on how you want to use the weapon, so the choice is up to you. You definitely have a lot to choose from. Well, let's take a look at the recoil. You can see that it goes upwards and to the left. That's pretty unique for assault rifles. There's only one other gun, that's the Cycler TRV, that has an upward and to the left pull. All others either have a balanced horizontal recoil or pull up and to the right. When you want to compensate for it, it's pretty obvious. Pull down and to the right. And it should look something like this. Damn names get in the way. <laughs> Overall, this gun's recoil is on the lower end with a value of 0.22, but a relatively high first shot recoil multiplier of times 3. Uh, we'll get into what this actually means in just a bit. But let's. Let's watch some actual gameplay. Well I guess I should have started with a little disclaimer. Some of you might know from my other videos that I mainly play VS, so my review here might be biased from a Vanu standpoint. I'll definitely try to incorporate as much from the other factions as possible. If I say something totally stupid you can always correct me down in the comments. Having said before that this is an extremely versatile weapon, you might ask yourself, does it have anything where it really shines? So what about close quarter combat? I don't want to step on anyone's toe here, but in my opinion it's absolutely horrible in close range. When looking at the stats, there are a couple of things that are actually awesome for close quarters. You have an insanely fast reload speed. The short one clocks in at 2 seconds. It's faster than any TR assault rifle and only a couple of VS guns and the NC's Reaper DMR can beat that time. The long reload is only marginally longer with 2.45 seconds. This allows you to reload even during more heated engagements. Just a short sprint behind cover and you're good to go again. Next is the ammo capacity. You have a 35 round magazine. TR is spoiled in that department, so they will look at that as a disadvantage, but for BS and NC, that's 5 more bullets than usual. The recoil of the NS-11A points towards close quarters as well. You want low recoil that can easily be controlled during sustained fire. The high initial kick of a weapon is unimportant in close quarters. Another thing a lot of people might not have even realized while using this gun is the movement speed multiplier while ADS. The 0.75 value is normally reserved for the all-out short-range weapons, but you also get that benefit with the 11A. But now comes the kicker and why I think it's garbage in CQC. The rate of fire and the damage. 652 rounds per minute is on the lower end for assault rifles. Every faction has guns available for them that will absolutely destroy the 11A in close quarters. Running into a building and facing other medic guns like the HV-45, a GR-22 or a Cycler TRV will quickly make you reconsider using that gun again. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that you won't get any kills if you use it that way. All I'm saying is that it's just not one of this weapon's strong points. Where the gun really shines is medium range. At the very end of the video I'll put in a clip of a nice kill streak by at free rain over the enemies at medium range. Let me explain why it is so good. The bullet speed is among the highest in the whole game. It's only beaten by two NC assault rifles, the Gauss rifle and the Gauss rifle burst, and by the bolt action sniper rifles. 
With high velocity ammo, it might even beat the sniper rifles. I'm not entirely sure on the amount high velocity increase drop speed of the projectile though. Combine that with the low recoil this allows for 10 round bursts that will drop your enemy in no time. If you consider yourself an expert in recoil control then there are higher damaging weapons available for you that might do the job even quicker, but the 11A definitely deserves a spot among the best medium range guns in the game. Now for long range engagements. I guess you can say that the gun does okay. It's definitely not my first pick because of two reasons. First, the damage. At 65 meters, the weapon reaches its minimum damage, which is 125. This means an 8 shot kill. At that distance, rate of fire becomes absolutely irrelevant. At a maximum, you're looking at 3 round bursts. Second, the high initial kick on the 11A will probably make you miss one or even two of those which kind of forces you into single fire. There are weapons that do a far far better job and I'm not talking about sniper rifles. Just take a look at the guns one tier up damage wise. The Gauss rifle, the Sabre 13 or the Corvus. If you NC you can even go for more damage and pick up the Reaper DMR. I think I've seen someone do a review about this gun on the official forums, you should check it out because that guy probably knows a lot more about NC guns than I do. When you're signal firing you want the first kick to be as small as possible and the recoil to settle as fast as possible. And this is definitely not a strong point of the 11A. More shots to kill means that you're a stationary target for a longer time which makes you prone to getting sniped. If you absolutely insist to kill a certain target then pick that enemy wisely and don't be surprised if you don't succeed. Overall you can say SRE knew where this gun became a nanite systems weapon because it doesn't outperform any Empire specific rifle but it can hold its ground with its versatility. It definitely isn't an answer to every situation you might find yourself in and you probably often wish why haven't I used another gun or why haven't I used some other attachments but then there are also the moments where this gun just feels absolutely right and you're glad that you bought it. I'm someone who uses guns for very specific tasks, but I've read about people that use stuff like a 3.4 scope together with a laser sight, and according to them they make it work. If you're someone like that, then this weapon is what you want to get your hands on. If you use it in a totally different way with a weird attachment combination, let me know down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, then rating is much appreciated and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Cheers guys! Oh, and before I forget, the French guy in the upcoming clip, we are fully aware of how annoying he can be, so suffer like we do. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Also for these people, indeed I know that they can come for me up. Just keep talking and I'll kill them all. Okay, nothing. There are trees. Those two lightnings are blind. And just keep killing them while I'm going to tag the base. <laughs> Good job, my minions. Sacrifice your life. Oh, for lots me. of sun oh, is going down the road. Two. Is that one C? See where the park. Oh yeah. Yeah, I actually have a lot of people inside. It's those wasp guys I just killed the galaxy. They're probably going to try to, to tag behind us. Oh, on your side of the road, up yeah. behind the rocks. And they have like a lot of people. Behind you, Kellen, behind you, behind you, two, two, two. Yeah, I'm moving as much as I can. The cat was looking at me. <laughs> oh, I know. <laughs> two more on the road, two more on the road. I got him. I'll grab you. Hang on. Kellen, watch the road, watch the road. I see one heavy assault. 
There's a um, Planch, a rocket planch Got the heavy He's hurt uh, And the uh, tank is almost down Oh Infiltrator or whatever it is the name of this game is there Come here for heals if you need I have the medic pack of <laughs> I don't know the name. Are those chills? What are they? Oh, 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 on the hill! This one above on the rocks. On the hill. Oh fuck! I'm behind! Come on, stupid game. Behind us. Grenade, careful. Okay, okay two sides now. Yeah. Need to move. I'm running low on ammo. Yeah, me too. I have 14. <laughs> I need ammo up here. Ammo again. Oh, nice. That shit turn up there, careful. Am I like, am I bucked or something? They're not shooting at me. I don't know, they're not shooting at anybody. Oh, they're shooting at me. Oh, okay, here we go. Might have been a stray shot. Don't trust it yet. <laughs> okay. 